Hello, showing you the output of the Ford Sony system uh, with variable line out settings. The ACM and APIM changes here have been made to the unit. And I wanted to show you that from a voltage perspective and an oscilloscope perspective. What I've done on the head unit is set everything to center from an EQ perspective and to set front and rear to center. So everything is set to flat and we will show you what it looks like from the oscilloscope perspective. So right now you are seeing uh, just um, the line level output at rest and this is a very common sort of pattern. There's always a little data there. This is essentially negative zero millivolts. It's just almost zero voltage. The oscilloscope is so sensitive that it picks it up. And what you're going to see me do is increase the volume from zero volume to max volume so that you can see the voltage. And I am running a 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz linear sweep that is 32 bit is a wave file and is being fed into the audio system via USB. So it's very, very clean. You'll see me turn that up now, but you will not hear the sleep, the sweep, because it is very, very loud and very annoying. So watch the voltage change over on the left-hand side so that we can see what our max voltage is on the variable line level pre-out on the Ford Sony system. JBL MS8 users, that's right at 2.8 volts, so it appears you have more than 75% headroom on the stock volume control. Dead on clean 4 volts on the next to last volume detent, and then roughly 5.2 volts max. What you're seeing is the spectrum analysis at 2.8 volts. And as you can see from 0 hertz on the left to 20,000 hertz on the right, an incredibly flat signal. Don't think one could ask for more. It looks like there is an EQ bump on the far left hand side. As you can see, uh, that is around 500 hertz, but it's not as bad as it looks. I'll show you what that looks like zoomed in in a moment. So the artifact we were seeing on the left was actually an average up beginning at 49.53 hertz or roughly 50 hertz. And everything is flat from there. Just a little bump around 300 hertz, but those are all through the spectrum, plus or minus 2 or 3 dB, and I don't think one could ask for much more than that. Very flat, very impressed.